Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 25 Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3 For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 26 Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. For then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest and counsel from the ancients. In the news from the RT European gas crisis turning ugly Winter stockpiles could run low, according to the media, citing a warning from Bank of America. The European energy crisis is getting worse, the Markets Insider News website reported on Monday, quoting a research note from Bank of America. The European gas situation has quickly moved from our bad to our ugly scenario in the past month, the bank reportedly said, pointing to reduced supplies of Russian natural gas to the region. The main pipeline that carries Russian gas to the EU is currently operating at 20% of capacity due to technical issues caused by sanctions against Russia. In July, the pipeline closed for a 10-day annual maintenance period, stopping the flow completely. Supplies through Ukraine have also been slashed after Kyiv shut down a key entry point for Russian gas transit to Western Europe. The reduction has sparked numerous warnings that much of the continent may run out of gas this winter. With Nord Stream 1 pipeline flows at 20% of capacity, storage bills into winter could be insufficient and the EU is now planning for widespread demand rationing. How did this happen? Markets insider quotes Bank of America researchers are as saying Gas prices in Europe have quadrupled this year on tight supply, translating into higher household bills and leading to the adoption of an EU wide gas rationing plan. The bloc has diversified its imports by buying more liquidified natural gas, LNG as well as increasing supplies of pipeline gas from Norway, Algeria, and Azerbaijan. However, according to the EU top diplomat, Joseph Borrell, the bloc is approaching the limits of what extra gas you can buy from non-Russian sources. This concludes the article. In other news, Nuclear conflict scenarios back on table. Russia's foreign ministry. Before I read this article, I want to give all praises, blessings, glories, and honors to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to my elder apostles and bishop elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth, as well of men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom I used to Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the seed of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great and abroad. To you, I say Shalom and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shira, to say this lesson is edifying. The erosion of global arms controlled by the U.S. has forced world powers to revive their nuclear war planning, the diplomat argues. Built by generations of nego negotiators, the framework for arms control and preservation of strategic stability is now being dismantled at the instigation of the U.S. The Americans have lowered the first strike threshold in their military doctrine. Drobanin wrote in an article for the Mez 
Tuna Rodnaya Zazin International Life magazine published Wednesday. These and other concerning factors are yet again bring the most dangerous scenarios of conflict between nuclear powers, fraught with disastrous consequences, back into the view of military planners, he warned. Nevertheless, the emergence of a multipolar world order in which Russia is actively involved will make the globe a safe place, rather safer place, excuse me, unless the West chooses to interfere, the diplomat argues. Everyone will benefit from the multipolarity and deglobalization provided no one disrupts the natural course of these objective phenomena, Drobinin argues. What is of crucial importance here is how the political establishment of North American Western Europe chooses to behave, unless they are about or, excuse me, able to suppress the pain they are feeling over losing their power over the world. However, humanely, understandably, that pain may be in stop grabbing the gun, quote, end quote, every time patient diplomacy is in order. The alarming trend of the growing importance of strength in international affairs will not only endure, but intensify. This is to say, in other concise words, that things will only continue to get worse between these nuclear geopolitical powers and war will inevitably and eventually happen. So it reads on to say on Monday in a letter to participants of the 10th Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty Review Conference, Russian President Vladimir Putin reiterated that there would be no winners in a nuclear war and it must never be allowed to happen, which he knows that is going to happen. It is in fact prophesied to happen according to the book of Revelation 11 chapter 14 verse and also Russia will become a guard unto its allies especially Iran according to Ezekiel 38 chapter okay the landmark new start remains the only major arms control agreement between Moscow and Washington still in force in early 2021 the, the deal was on the brink of expiration but it was ultimately salvaged shortly after Biden's inauguration when Washington finally agreed to Moscow's call to prolong the deal without any preconditions, which this deal will become pretty much void. It is currently set to expire in 2026. With the likelihood of that, might I add, uh, being way shorter because most have speed and times up. This concludes this article. In other news from the Yahoo News, Western U.S. faces water and power shortages due to climate change, U.N. warns. These are all examples of mischief upon mischief and rumors upon rumors. Destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and there shall be none, as we had read earlier. The two largest reservoirs in the United States are at its dangerously low levels. Threatening the supply of fresh water and electricity in six states, six states. And Mexico, the United Nations Environment Program, UNEP, warned on Tuesday. Lake Mead and Lake Powell, which are both man-made reservoirs on the Colorado River, are currently at their lowest levels ever, in part because of an ongoing drought exacerbated by climate change, so-called. The conditions in the American West, which we are seeing around the Colorado River Basin, have been so dry for more than 20 years that we're no longer speaking of a drought, said Liz Mullen Bernhardt, an ecosystem expert at UNEP. We refer to it as Ari defecation, a new, very, a, a new very dry normal. The river is also struggling thanks to overconsumption due to a grow, growing population and an outdated agreement that guarantees allotments for its neighboring states. The reservoirs provide water for agriculture and residential use in Arizona, California, Colorado, Wyoming, Nevada, and New Mexico. If conditions don't improve, Lake Mead and Lake Powell are at risk of reaching dead pool status, in which the water is so low it stops flowing out of a reservoir. That would disable the high hydroelectric dams that help provide power for millions of residents 
of the Western US. Interesting, we are talking about a 20 year period of drought like conditions with an ever increasing demand in water. Burhart said, these conditions are alarming and particularly in the Lake Powell and Lake Mead region, it is the perfect storm. The falling water levels have been a concern for US officials for some time. In June, Borough of Reclamation Commissioner Camille Cal Limlim, that's a funny last name, tout told the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee that maintaining critical levels at Lake Mead and Lake Powell would require significant reduction in water deliveries. What has been a slow motion train wreck for 20 years is accelerating, and the moment of reckoning is near. John and Samarang, general manager of the Southern Nevada Water Authority, said the Senate hearing. Due to the decline in water levels in Lake Mead, which is near Las Vegas, three dead bodies along buried under the water have recently been exposed. Some water use restrictions have already been put in place. The Metropolitan Water District of Southern California Institute Emergency Water Curtailment in June typically limiting outdoor watering to one or two days per week. The drought in the West has had a number of effects in recent years, including unusually bad wildfire seasons. Climate scientists say disruptions to the water cycle, especially drought, will become more common as a result of rising global temperatures. This concludes the article. So again, this is the book of Ezekiel chapter seven, verse 25. Destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and there shall be none. So the Lord is bringing nothing but miseries and destruction upon this world. The Lord is setting the, the stage beautifully and perfectly for Jacob's trouble. Okay, for the great implosion of this system. For when they shall say peace and safety, when Esau, Edom, and his presidents, his governments, his mayors, his local leaders are going to promise you like peace and safety, that's when sudden destruction is going to come upon you as you build upon a woman with child and you're not going to be able to escape. All the sinners of the Lord's people which say that they shall not die by the sword will die by the sword because of their pride. And the Lord said, because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Men shall be afraid. The house is going to, our house is going to be destroyed and they shall seek peace and there shall be none. So then people are going to desire to seek peace out, find peace during the times of destruction, which cometh, there shall be none. Mischief shall come upon mischief and rumor shall come upon, shall be upon rumor. Then shall he seek a vision of the prophet, but the Lord shall perish from the priests and counsel from the ancients, because many people are going to be seeking for the answers. Many are going to be seeking out the true men of the Lord, the prophets. They won't be able to find them. Not on the highways and byways, nor on the end. And TD Jakes, TD Fakes, Cruffle Dollars, and all these different false prophets won't have the answers for you people. So with that, I'll conclude this lesson. Lord's willing was edifying, straight to the point, till the next. Lord's willing, I say, shalom to the elect.